What up, what up? We'll hear with the baseball bat bros. And today, folks, the cheapest wood bats you can buy. I got this thing for $39.99, barcode still on there. And I got this same price from Amazon, 40 bucks. These are both maple. They seem kind of decent. So we're gonna see if these $40 wood bats can compete with these probably $200 wood bats right here. We have the Victus Adley Rutschman model. This is a legit pro cut. And then this I picked up for, I believe, $180 from Just Bats. We have the Marucci Lindy 12. Big price gap. Let's get it. And we're out at George Fox University today. Here's the dimensions. It is hot. The wind is kind of blowing in from right, but we'll have exit velo tracking, the same baseball for every single hit to keep it controlled. And we got the pitching machine here. All right, we're going to start off with the $40 Louisville Maple right here. They don't give us much info. I'm gonna keep the sticker on, just adds that it factor. It is allegedly genuine. Here's a full look, unfinished handle, kind of an ugly yellow finished barrel. So what I'm kind of having a problem with is like, they look similar, they're weighted kind of similar. Why is this $40? Well, first, you know, make sure it can bunt. Yeah, really good bunny wow. bat. That did not sound that bad. All right, two swings in. This is not the worst wood bat I've ever swung. That, dude, that actually felt good. 97. That's solid. All right, hands. Go, ball. Yeah, dude. 95. All right, we're not hitting it very hard, but I'm more than happy with $40 oh, yeah. so far. Like, it actually has barrel on it. Oh, dude, that was way off the end. That's a good sign. Ooh, that that sounded, hit hard. That sounded way 100 hard. club. Oh, let's go. Dude. All right, I'm going to feel real awkward if it beats the Marucci. Dude, it's... Why, why is it good? It's nice. Uh, one more good barrel. Come on. Well, this is going to be really weird. First swing ever on the just absolutely gorgeous kind of new paint job of the Lindy 12 right here. You hear that? That was louder. Yes. Okay, so what we have to answer here is, is it worth like $150 of a gap? Because that's a lot of money for a bat that is still prone to breaking. Like, no wood bat, unless it's a wood composite, is going to be immune to breaking. Oh, <laughs> kind of got fooled on that one. What the heck? <laughs> That's it. That might be hotter. Come on. 106. Whoa! Yeah. I feel like we got to prove that. That was all, like, genuinely, that was my first, that was my first it, it good deal. The miss hits are way better too. Oh, What's yeah. that? Ninety four still? Ninety five? Ninety nine. Ninety nine, bro. See, like, that's probably the biggest difference. Is I can miss a little bit. I'm still getting yeah, yeah. what I was getting on decent barrel with that. Yeah, it's super hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty clear the wood is harder on this. The finish, that little lacquer finish, Zach brought up a good point. That's probably a lot more expensive finish. But 106, they're both at the same distance. 385, 390. Uh, one more here. Pretty good. Dude, that's one more though, dude. That's a little bit of a miss. That's such good barrel. Come on. That's crazy. I'm freaking out. What, dude? One more. Oh, no. Peace. Oh my God! I can't honestly say that's worth a hundred plus dollars more, unless it's like an unbreakable bat, maybe like a bomb bat or something, or if it has a really good warranty, maybe. But 
I can buy four or five of those Louisvilles. Adirondack Pro, which you know. Is it Adirondack? I think it's a place. Adirondack's a place, right? Better finish on this bat than Louisville. Yeah, actually it looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But just nothing, nothing descriptive about the bat on the bat. Yes, or, yeah, we'll give it a little bunt. Great bunting bat. First swing. Uh-oh. Not bad. Ow. <laughs> that was still hands. Oh. Is that going to go? That's good. Dude, that sounded good. God, still hands. That sounds awful. Dude, this, the sweet spot feels tiny. Here you go. <laughs> That's probably the better, a better barrel I've had. Yeah. God, that was the worst around I've ever taken in my life. Adley Rutschman, that's a big leaguer's wood bat right there. So they say pro wood is better. We're gonna find out today. Ooh, that's loud. Dude, I think honestly, it's the, it's for sure the bat. It's, it's the waiting. Really? Because you, you should feel both these. That is so crisp. That's hard hit. So a little different round than me there. Your velos were, you know, a little better with the Victus. Yep. Not a ton different, but just the way they swung seemed to bug you. A lot of the weight in this bat feels kind of like it's around the logo, maybe like the lower part of the barrel. So yeah. it just feels handle weighted, almost like a like the Axe Bat Trainer. Problem with it being weighted right here is then I don't have a feel for where the barrel is. So no. like a lot of my misses were underneath and they felt like we were pretty good swings. Yep. So for you, if those are both painted all black, you don't know which one is which. This one for sure. Hands down. Yeah. Like, sorry, also better cut question. of wood, like you yeah. can hear it, a little bit more of a crack. It's a little bit denser. Dude, I want to see what you think about my Louisville. Okay. Take a couple hacks. Cause I'm telling you, bro, that actually felt nice. Okay. okay. But this already feels better than... It sounds so bad, though. Dude, that Dude, thing's good. I'm telling you, this is good. Yes. What was that? Crazy. 99? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yes. Dude, this might, this might be better than... What I get Dude, that, back. That's the thing with these cheap blends, though, is like... You might get lucky one in 10 times. All right, I'm gonna try this piece of work right here. Zach says it sucks. Dude, you see what I'm talking about? the weight is right here. I am telling you. All right, let's try a couple. <laughs> what? This thing. We hate this bat. We should cut this bat in half. Belongs in a rocking chair. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, we're gonna give the Rawlings one more shot. We've got, let's see, which one is it? A 232 hard ash bag. Well, it's labeled it's wrong. It's not even ash. <laughs> Pull those out. All right, those, these are both 33 maples. They don't say Adirondack, they just say Rawlings Pro. The Rawlings Pro. We need to make sure these are only 45 bucks. All right, confirmed, 45 bucks. We're gonna give it a shot. Okay, one more shot, folks. The $45 Rawlings Pro. This is probably 28 ounces. We'll put it on the scale. Bro, you cannot make this up. With the Vulcan grip on there, this thing is literally not even 28 ounces. That A 33 inch bat, that makes it almost a drop six. <laughs> that is one of the worst blends I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, that's a twig. It bends so much. Dude, I'm telling you, there is <laughs> absolutely no barrel to throw. That was 97. That's barrel. All right, 100, 100.7. 
If I try to throw the barrel, I'm just. Uh, yeah. Ow, bro, it hurts so bad. It hurts, bro. Okay, we're gonna give it one more try. That's all I got. That might go. That's one of the worst wood bats I've ever swung. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I'm gonna try your birch just to get some sort of reference. That was 98. That sounds so much better. Jeez. Not quite. Damn, that's pretty good though. One more. <laughs> it, 105. That, was that Rawlings ain't it. Yeah. I feel like you have to get lucky. All right, so what did we learn today? For one, the Rawlings $40 wood bat. Not very good, folks. Unfortunately, I would not recommend anyone buying that. And with that said, we're going to narrow in on the Louisville Slugger and the fact that it was actually very, very, very good. So first thing we need to cover is that this is the quote unquote mixed model. You don't know what turn model you're going to get. And you don't even know what type of wood you're going to get between ash, birch, and maple. So you can probably write off buying this bat online because it is a risk. And you're going to have to get really, really lucky to get a large barreled kind of I-13 243 maple like we got here. Uh, we just went to a sporting goods store and basically got lucky and found a large barreled maple. But most of the time, what I've seen is you're gonna find an ash bat, and these are very, very fragile, guys. Not even necessarily the handle, just the barrels flake away so soon. Like, you can see how porous that ash wood is and just the most narrow grains of all time. Typically, you want uh, a wider grain ash bat than this. But guys, I really would urge you to go with something that is, one, gonna be consistent, and two, gonna have a good, solid warranty, and three, is gonna be really, really high performing. So this is obviously kind of the top of the budget range. It is ultra, ultra durable. It is hotter than pretty much any wood bat. These things absolutely bang. They're very, very expensive. So if you need something a little cheaper, I would highly recommend the Rawlings wood composite right here. Uh, this green one is the 243. They also have the 110 model, which is lighter and very, very solid. So there you guys have it probably don't buy one of those probably get something more like these but if you're really balling on a budget you might get lucky with a 40 dollars louisville genuine unnamed wood bat we'll see you next time peace out